happy uh, digital scrapbooking day everyone I was over at um, the uh, new site uh, Jen I think is it Ca Caputo uh, has a great video today I s uh, started off my day watching that great video and in there sh they they share two ways to um, th thread text over uh, a ribbon or in my case I have a rope on my layout and I uh, just wanted to share with you how I do that in Photoshop Elements uh, as they state in their video there's always many many ways to achieve one effect and they share two and I wanted to share with you how I do mine I'm sitting in here in a nice quiet house on a Saturday morning and just uh, enjoying myself uh, and my me time. I have this layout that I was working on. I was making it while I was um, uh, watching and listening to, to Jen's video and thought well hey this would be perfect to, to try out on my layout and that's what's so great about digital scrapbooking. It seems like uh, as I see what other people are doing and watch what they're doing it inspires my layouts and, and turns them into um, something special. I will share with you uh, what I did. I have this yellow paper. Um, these papers are actually from Betty Jo's uh, kit. I'd have to look it up. It's about flight and I thought the yellows would be perfect for a uh, super boy but I needed blue because um, as you can see on his little outfit he's uh, blue and and got a yellow star and I kind of wanted to coordinate that and so I did take uh, that same paper and changed it to a blue to coordinate with his Halloween costume and up here in my layers palette you can see I took um, the yellow paper and I cut out Superboy from it and then I also cut out the same letters from from uh, the blue version of the exact same paper. Then I simply took my uh, rectangular marquee tool, and I I would I would uh, hold down the con uh, I would uh, oh it's too early in the morning for me to talk. Uh, make one or the other my active layer and use my selection tool and I just simply uh, selected uh, first the S out of the blue and hit control J and it put it on its own layer and I continued one letter at a time and it went really quickly the next set I copied from the yellow version and then the next from the blue and so forth so that I have down here rotating letters in blue and yellow all on their own layers and there I, thereafter I was able to uh, um, turn them and move them around till I thought they would be appropriate on the uh, ribbon and I have my ribbon layer above all of my letters so now we are set uh, to get started I also put a stroke on the letters after I made them uh, used a, the eyedropper tool to get the yellow to put around the blue letters and then the opposite I put the blue stroke around the yellow letters. Let's uh, zoom in and um, I'm learning uh, that so you can see better in my uh, tutorials that I have to work on a very small screen <laughs> um, until I'm able to upload somewhere else for besides YouTube I have to work in this very small version so things aren't so blurry but uh, let's zoom way in and I'll evaluate each letter and um, and in their tutorial they took the ribbon and put portions of it over the letters I like to do just the opposite of that I like to take my letters and move the portions I want of them above the ribbon. For me it helps so that there's not um, as many uh, shadow issues especially 
uh, since I am working in Photoshop elements rather than their full version where I cannot put those shadows on their own layer and so uh, it makes it a little bit more difficult and and I have to improvise uh, for me this S I just want this whole S to be setting above the layer I just think that that's going to look best and I'll move on to the U and this is a convenient letter where I can have the second half of the U this um, second bar of the U have the the uh, ribbon or rope going over this section and it going under this section so I'm going to uh, just click on that U to make that U layer the active layer and I'm going to take my rectangular marquee tool and I'm just going to draw way out because I want to make sure that I include uh, down far to avoid shadow issues on on my U and then I'm going to hit control U J control J and I'm going to move that layer above the ribbon and as you can see I still have a little bit let me get off of that of a shadow issue I could leave it like that because it's in the middle uh, but I don't want to so um, in this case I'm going to simplify my layer and grab my eraser tool well actually I'm going to grab my marquee tool because it is a straight line and select right up to that edge uh, where the where it still contains the shadow and hit delete and it took that right off of there so I'm going to move on to my next letter and I do want um, some portions of this P this portion of it you know, I, I don't know I kind of like it the way it is it looks like um, the rope is going over that and holding it down I'm going to leave that letter right right like it is this E I think um, it's too difficult to try to deal with so I'm just going to raise the entire thing above so it looks like it's just setting on the on the rope oh for the R the R it we can um, use the second leg of the R and put that over or have the rope going over it and um, let's have the the first leg of the R so the rope goes under it so I'm just going to select a big portion of the area and hit control J and I'm going to raise that above the rope and you can see we have a few uh, drop shadow issues too so I'm going to right click on the layer and choose simplify and I'm going to do the same thing as I did before. Hit my delete key to take that shadow off. I still have some shadow er uh, issues. I'm going to hit control Z. Yeah, control Z, come on, let's undo it and it's instead of using my uh, selection tool I'm going to use my eraser tool there we go that looks good I can just uh, delete that uh, top portion that had a shadow and it all blends in perfectly um, for my B uh, the little holes are not convenient once again for going over and under a rope so I'm just going to raise that above the now oh, my computer's not wanting to work.